The close mid-back rounded vowel, or high mid-back rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound used in some spoken languages. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is O. For the close mid-back rounded vowel that is usually transcribed with the symbol or U, see near close back rounded vowel. If the usual symbol is O, the vowel is listed here. Topic. Close mid-back protruded vowel The close mid-back protruded vowel is the most common variant of the close mid-back rounded vowel. It is typically transcribed in IPA simply as O, and that is the convention used in this article. As there is no dedicated diacritic for protrusion in the IPA, the symbol for the close mid-back rounded vowel with an old diacritic for labialization can be used as an ad hoc symbol O, for the close mid-back protruded vowel. Another possible transcription is O or a close mid-back vowel modified by endolabialization, but this could be misread as a diphthong. For the close mid-near back protruded vowel that is usually transcribed with the symbol, see near close back protruded vowel. If the usual symbol is O, the vowel is listed here. Features Its vowel height is close mid, also known as high mid, which means the tongue is positioned halfway between a close vowel, a high vowel and a mid vowel. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Occurrence Note, because back-rounded vowels are assumed to have protrusion, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some of the following may actually have compression. Close mid-back compressed vowel There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, compression of the lips can be shown with B as B simultaneous and labial compression or modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter O as an ad hoc symbol, but spread technically means unrounded. Only Shanghainese is known to contrast it with the more typical protruded endolabial close mid-back vowel, but the height of both vowels varies from close to close mid. Topic. Features Its vowel height is close mid, also known as high mid, which means the tongue is positioned halfway between a close vowel, a high vowel and a mid vowel. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Topic. Occurrence equals equals notes <laughs>